guys, Patriot Picker here. My name is Chris. We are down in the eBay bunker, and I want to start off by saying thank you so much to my new subscribers. I have picked up a couple of few here and there uh, over the last couple of days, and I would like to welcome you to the channel, and I hope that you enjoy it. And uh, if you want to know more about, then I just suggest that you go back and look at some of my previous videos. Uh, a little bit of backdrop, if you don't know, and you've just now joined in this video, you can get a little bit of biography. Um, I started into reselling on eBay about a year and a month ago and have been going strong ever since. I, uh, I'm married and my wife is a school teacher and I do this full time. Uh, it is a full time job. Uh, I do not make the kind of income that I'd like to be making right now in, um, you know, at, at a full-time status. But what I'm saying to you is, is that I put all of my time and energy into this because my wife and I are able to, because we have another side business that we do, um, vinyl design, uh, for, for customers. And that compensates for having, uh, you know, the circumstances as they are. So anyway, with, with that in mind, uh, I just wanted to welcome you. So, what we're going to do in this video, though, is we're going to have two different parts. We're going to have, uh, beginning, I'm going to show you some things that have sold for me lately. Uh, and then we're going to jump into, most recently, we had a 100-mile yard sale. For some reason, I have a struggle saying those words together. 100-mile uh, yard sale in the state of Virginia at the beginning of October, and some of the items I'm going to be showing you today I actually picked up during that time frame uh, and have sold already. But basically what we are going to do is show you some items that have sold, and then I'm going to take you over to show you all the items that I picked up during that 100-mile yard sale. And um, that's going to conclude the video for now. That's going to be considered part two. Part one was my friend DJ he was showing you Uncle Bubba. He was showing you the things that he picked up. And now we're going to sh reveal what I picked up. And then part three is coming this next, this coming week. Probably release this either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, we're going to give you a little video on Uncle Bubba and myself sitting down and actually chatting with you and telling you a little bit about the experience as a whole. Uh, there was a lot of... Um, pros and cons, and uh, anytime they have these big yard sales like this in states and even through uh, other states, um, there's always pros and cons to talk about at the end and wrap up. So that's going to be in part three. But for now, let's look at what's sold. So the first item up is this Get Ripped uh, as seen on TV. I'm assuming that this was a takeoff of the P90X workout system that came out years ago. The date on here uh, is 2010, um, but there's 10 DVD sets. Uh, this is a 10 DVD set, and it sold for $10.99 plus shipping. This is a vintage game called Racco. Many of you out there probably remember this game. It dates back to, bear with me just a second... <laughs> 1966 a uh, very simple game um not a whole lot of contents to it but um picked this up in a local thrift store a while back and this sold for 14.99 plus shipping all right now <clears throat> i uh you know I've talked about this on my videos before, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail, but I got into women's purses and, you know, started learning as much as I could. I was really focused on young women's styles. Uh, and the reason, you know, sometimes people ask me why you do what you do, you know, and, and I'm on the video right now and I'm talking and I'm like, why do I do what I do? Why did I start looking at, at young ladies' purses versus older women's style purses I think it was because I wanted to get into that market. I felt like that I wanted to be trendy and, and, and up to date rather than looking backwards and trying to find older styles. 
I wanted to see what was happening new. Now, one new style that came out, and you know, I don't keep up with them so much that I know all the specifics. I can just tell you a little bit about what I know, <laughs> which is very little. But uh, one company is called Lily Bloom, okay? They came out a while back. They started making all these purses with all these vibrant colors and stuff on them. And this is a actual tote, as you can probably tell, it's pretty large, okay? Um, but it is a considered a tote, I would, I would assume. It's very deep, lots of pockets, lots of room in it. Uh, but Lily Bloom does pretty good for me, and so I always have my eyes out for Lily Bloom purses. Now, this particular uh, tote item sold for $29.99 plus shipping. So I should be able to... Uh, Eh, I'm trying to figure out whether that's over a pound or not, whether I can get that in first class. I'm going to attempt to. It may not. I may have already weighed it out, and it may be under or over a pound. And if so, we will have to go priority. But we'll just have to check that out in a second. All right, moving right along. We've got a um, another game, and... Now that we're in the fourth quarter, I'm really pushing my games because I'm not going to break it down for all of you who watch me because you know behind me what this is. You know the story behind that and all. But basically, my shelves from about the shelf probably three, well, actually four and five above my head, you can't see much, but that's all uh, board games and stuff. And so we're really pushing in this fourth quarter to try to uh, liquidate some of that and get that moving. Uh, we'd like to get some room on those shelves for some other items. Uh, I'm always going to be into board games though, guys. It's just kind of what I fell into and what works for us. And so I'll still be doing board games. Um, but anyway, this is a game called Sequence Letters. I've mentioned this particular style game uh, in videos before, always look out for the sequence games. They sell really, really well. They're it's usually because of the fact that it teaches as you play. It's not just some entertainment. You actually learn something from playing the game. So uh, this particular item is sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then last is going to be an item that I did pick up at the 100 mile yard sale and there's actually a story that is going to be embedded in part three of the release of the 100 mile yard sale I was telling you about earlier where we talk more about what happened during this particular situation but this actually came uh, from um, a yard sale we went to where a gentleman let us go down into his basement and look at some items and Pay attention to those words, basement, and look at items in the basement, and you'll you'll figure it all out. Uh, but this is a vintage Renaissance chess game with the pieces actually carved like the 15th century pieces were carved back in the day. Um, and so uh, this dates back to... I always like to give the dates because I think that's important. I don't think it's on the outside of the box, but I do believe, I think when I listed this, it, it was uh, back into the late 50s or early 60s. So that particular chess game uh, sold for $42.99 plus shipping. $42.99 plus shipping. So you can't go wrong when you look for these older style games uh, especially if you can get it back into the late 50s and 60s. Um, they just, people are still after them pretty hot. So that's what sold. And now what we're going to do is jump right into what I picked up at the 100 mile yard sales. So sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Patrick Picker here. And we have already kind of given you a brief synopsis, I guess, of what DJ Uncle Bubba has found out at the 100 mile yard sale and I am going to briefly <laughs> as best I can share a little bit about what I picked up. So over here on the left of the couch you'll see that uh, we've got some hats, some ball caps. Um, I'm a sucker for military caps so you can see we got a couple of those. We also picked up uh, some Motorola earpieces that go with the talkabouts. Uh, we've got some 
uh, PS2 video games, uh, some old vintage bingo cards, uh, ashtray. Uh, we picked up some video cams and uh, the kind that mount on the computer and on the table themselves. We've got some vintage tins. We have uh, puzzles. Everybody knows that I love uh, jigsaw puzzles. Uh, we picked up some glasses, some vintage glasses, chipmunks. Um, down here, uh, we've got some Ronald McDonald vintage glasses. Back up on the couch again, you'll see we picked up these really cool um, professional baseball players with the stadium underneath them, a Longaberger purse, and then down here on the floor, over in this corner, we've got one album, some video game or some uh, board games, some old VHS horror movies. Uh, everybody loves trolls. We have a backgammon set. Uh, my wife and I always love to pick up vintage hooked on phonics or any kind of uh, teaching material for children. We got some hooked on phonics here. We got a vintage Elvis Presley, the King, belt buckle. We picked up almost a complete set of these Raggedy Ann vintage uh, books. I think we're missing a couple, but we think they'll, they'll still do well for us. I've got a whole box of vintage rock and roll cassette tapes. Um, a really, really interesting uh, bourbon bottle out of my home state of Tennessee. And uh, it says Dickel, Tennessee on it. So I thought that was really cool. And then we've got some Bibles and books. And there's a lot of other stuff that kind of goes along with this. But this is kind of the highlights. Um, the Xbox 360 with some controllers and this is going to have to be tested to make sure that it works but we had a really good deal on that and uh that's about it and what's going to happen next not on this video but on a different video is we're going to go into a little bit more detail on some personal stories to share with you of our experience while we were out at the 100 mile yard sale so i hope you enjoyed that video uh covering a lot of information, but you can see some of the items we picked up. Those items are going to be uh, listed very soon. Some of them already have. You can see back here behind me in my Photoshop, we've got some old vintage McDonald's glasses. Those are getting ready to go on uh, to the store. Lots of items, lots of merchandise to go through, and we look forward to it. So thank you for watching today. This is Patriot Picker, and we'll catch you guys when, that's right, on the flip side.